Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo 3. Starting Floodgate, which was There's an flood. even bigger Spreading shift in chronic confusion for me. Find the crashed flood ship. As a kid. Overload its engine core. We either destroy this city or risk losing the entire planet. Because at the time I was like, okay, I think I finally managed to get the understanding of the alien space war. I, I think I finally managed to get that. That's fine. And then these guys showed up, and I was like, a what now? A, what? A third faction? Wonders never cease. I didn't know what the flood was. Didn't understand it one bit. And so here we are. So yeah, after, um... A lot, like, basically absence in, a uh, Halo 2. Yeah, Chief doesn't fight the Flood, like, at all in Halo 2, besides a brief meeting with the Grave Mind and his lackeys. And it's way more of a uh, thing of the Arbiter. Wow. They got fucking mortal. I always like that the Covenant, I mean, I know that Arbiter, like, no longer counts as the Covenant by any means, but I like that the Covenant is still like, yo, this is a problem that we gotta fucking solve in. Uh, no matter what, when the Flood comes up. Which I guess makes it extremely fucked up that the Covenant will also ally with us. Spoilers. Uh, spoilers for this a billion year old game. This game come out like oh oh six or five. You know, I know that like I know that like Master Chief is rare. I was gonna be like, why wouldn't they just give more people armor? I know it's expensive, but it gets stuff done. They later started doing that. That's what this part is. Granted, they only started doing that in, like, Halo... And partially as a way to justify fan-favorite characters still being in the story after which time they should have aged out. But, you know. That's weird. Okay, so, like... Halo 3, right? The... Everything in Halo 3 was about finishing the fight. That was the whole thing, you know? Hood asks Master Chief, my what you telling me what to do on that ship? At the very end of 2, Chief says, oh, I'm finishing this fight. Haven't you heard? And then all the, like, pre-release content for Halo 3 says, finish the fight. Big cold letters. And it's hype as shit, you know? Because you know what we are. We are going to finish this fight. Not just against the Covenant, but also... Not just against the Covenant, but also against the Flood. We're going to finish all of them. And then 4 comes out and there's more fight. Strictly speaking, that's not in and of itself a bad thing. You know. The nature of Master Chief is that He's not, he is a great soldier, and so this kind of means that there's no place for him off the battlefield. Now, strictly speaking, that means that Big Boss should be his, uh, admin. But considering we have cryogenic freezing, we can just put him in a pod until we need him next. And that works for a lot of heroes, you know? You know, in some universe... Uh, Captain America's location was well known, and it was only until technology advanced enough that they got him out, or until they decided they needed him enough. 
the Doom Slayer's inscription even says, uh, on the little tomb that he's in, in Doom 4, Doom Guy's inscription even says, may we never need you again. And, you know, clearly they did, but they put him in there just specifically in case they would need him later and hoped that they wouldn't. Avatar Aang, you know, bubbled up for 100 years. Link in Breath of the Wild, 100 year, uh, 100 year time skip. I don't care, Cortana. Chief, I can't trust you. It's not safe. The grave line, it knows. And like, Chief being, oh, this is a window I'm watching. Okay. Couldn't tell because of the purple space moron obscuring my. Um, anyway, Chief freezing and, and coming back later to, to be an additional warrior and more stuff. That, that's good for you, you know? Mush pile. Okay. You know, there's nothing inherently wrong, but like, it's such a short span of time. The LT, the sergeant. They were all infected! So here's the guy I made reference that is made reference to in Reach. I can see it crawling, sliding around beneath their skin! Mercy kill. But yeah, I feel like that's one of my big problems with the, with the, even the concept of doing a sequel to, to Halo 3. Because it's not even just that, um... Yeah. The cool guy elites are back in. And now they're just straight-up friends, and that's great. Yeah, there's so much post-Covenant War stuff in, um... In 4, because it had just... Like, literally just happened. And like, I feel like that's a, that's kind of a, a shame, because like, so many people would have wanted War to just be more of Halo 1, 2, and 3. And you know what, it's fine that that could be the case. Get a shotgun, huh? Yeah, it's fine that that could be the case, you know? But that wasn't really what they wanted, I think. They wanted Halo's four through six to have more of their own identity, more recognizable, you know, more of their own thing to be that wasn't just more of more trilogy. Because they did do a thing where they did more trilogy, where they did prequels and intercools and other looks at the same universe in different games. You know, that's what Wars, Reach, and ODST are. But, like, it's so close to the end of the Covenant that, like, it feels like we're not even really getting an end to the Covenant world, which is, like, I feel one of my problems. It's part of why I didn't need to Because, like, it feels as though we haven't finished this fight, you know? Four coming around so soon makes it feel as though three doesn't actually tie up this new sense we should. And granted, I know that it's a little more, um, you know, ending a war is a little more complicated than just going to the final boss and capping him and then going home. Obviously, I know this to be the case. When it's something like the Grave Mine, that is more true, but I don't really want cleaning up the remnants of the war to be a cheap job. He already did his time. I think he's deserved his rest. And justifiably, so the other devs, but like some people want Chief to come back and be more of that, which is why there's so much Covenant stuff in Halo's 4 and 5, and why I think there's going to be some in 6 as well. I know it's called Infinite, but it's, it's the 6th 
one punch. Come on. I guess you still can't even give you guys uh Chief, swords. The elites are looking for something. We didn't believe them when they told us. It's Cortana, Chief. She's on that ship. Find her. Get her up. Guys, the gun. Gotta do everything myself, huh? Pretty loud. The elites are looking for something. We didn't believe them when they told us. It's Cortana, Chief. She's on that ship. Find her. Get her up. I love how that thing looks, looks like a chunk of meat until you see it. Yeah, like, picture this. Picture a world where, like, Chief is kind of out of date, you know? Like, in terms of tactics, in terms of weapons, and everything else. And, like, Part of four is that like Chief is experiencing technology like essentially a level above what he's used to. And granted, the technology in question is primitive advanced technology. Like it's it's advanced technology to be sure, but it's ancient stuff as created by people who predate him, you know? Like, I forget what it is. I don't think it's the people who built the ring, I think it's the people before them. And, like, that's cool, you know? I'm starting to get a much better view of the blood form. There's the default in the infection forms, which are the little cute guys that you can buy plushies of that you might see running around. And then there's the, like, blood infected. Who are just humans with a fucked up arm and, like, a... Yeah, one of those guys sticking out of their chest. One of those things. And then he just vanished. And then eventually they turn into these things. There's the weird little Venus flytrap fellas. There's the weird BB these guys. It's called like. I want to say they're called brute forms or something, but that sounds uninspired considering that they're already hard to reach. And then there's stalker forms. I do love a good platform. Oh, hello? Word. Fuck off, I'm trying to regenerate my health. Thank you, sir. And you can see that these guys, since they're at essentially the top level of like flood hierarchy can evolve back and forth, switching from form to form as the situation dictates. Yeah, there's the oh yeah, they're called spider forms. Is the last one. There's one. 
these weird little things that walk around my ground. Whoever Cortana is, they have found her. And yes, we're going to be in such close proximity to everything that melee is not a bad option. All right, let's get really gross. Shit, devil machine. Let's see, I would say that this is where the game gets survival horror. Do not be afraid. I am peace. I am salvation. But I don't think you can really have survival horror with regenerating health. I just don't think that it's possible. They're stalking us up. The extras are, strictly speaking, for uh, co-op. Wow. We're a little bit in. It's crazy. I'm having such a blast that, like, I, I have no idea, you know? So naturally, these gross little pustules are full of everything. Let me see. Saving Grace, I don't think this sword gets drained by uh, blood infection. Is that too small? Of course, they're being a pain in my ass. So. And then, yeah, much like with Cortana, we get a different vignette and a different voice, but it's the same thing. Grave Mind slows us down to a The fact that it, like, fucks with the hiccups, pardon me. Oh, hey, right. The fact that it affects the FOV is kind of interesting. Chief. Cortana. High charity. The Prophet's holy city is on. Cortana. Reclaimer. I must act quickly before your construct suffers any further Wait. trauma. Leave her alone. If we do not take this device to a safe location, somewhere I can make repairs. On Halo, you tried to kill Cortana. You tried to kill me. Protocol dictated my response. She had the activation index, and you were going to destroy my installation. You did destroy my installation. Now I have only one function to help you reclaim her, as I always should have. Not done. a very good catch up of what exactly happened in Halo 1, but. You know, one of many reasons I was. Cuckoo bananas going out of my mind trying to figure out what the hell was going on in this game. So yeah, I had no idea the significance of this, but yeah, they're glassing Africa to make sure that uh, the flood don't get out. Which honestly, like, Will it live, Oracle? yeah. Then it be safe. This the flood is one of the few things that actually does justify a glassing. Perhaps one of our technicians. That will not be necessary. Chief. Success. High charity. The Prophet's holy city is on its way to Earth with an army of flood. I can't tell you everything. It's not safe. The grave mind, it knows I'm in the system. It's just a message. Let it play. But it doesn't know about the portal, where it leads. On the other side, there's a solution, a way to stop the flood without firing the remaining halo rings. Oh! <laughs> Desperate cry subtitle. Hurry, Chief. The Ark. There isn't much time. I'm sorry. No matter, Oracle. You've heard enough. Our fight is through the port. I love you, Half Jaw. With the brutes and the bastard truth. Fine. We'll remain here. Hold out as long as we can. You do not hear. A flood on A grave one, as you insist. They only survived a small contamination. And you, shipmaster, just glassed half a continent. Maybe the flood is all I should be worried about. Bro, you kind of got to. Flood spore can destroy a species. Were it not for the Arbiter's Council, 
I would have glassed your entire planet. And that isn't exactly a crazy thing to say. I mean, it's the fucking flood here. Did you see her condition? How damaged she is? She could be corrupted for all we know. So yeah, I never liked Lord Hood. Um, we should go through the portal. He has a cool voice actor, Find and that's kind sure. of about it. But what like, we should do, Commander, is the understand. way that he just shows up clearly starts making that this decisions. is humanity's final stand here. Like, because because Keys is obviously a risk cool character. Every I don't last like man, him that woman, much, and child. But, you know, I'm okay with we him. Stand and then this is his daughter. We might just have a chance. I don't really think no. that. Um, you know, construct is wrong. the United States military, because I know that it's ostensibly Earth, I'll find let's Cortana be frank here. This solution. is space America. This is not and Earth. Bring it back. Earth is all we have left. But I don't really think that, you know, you trust Space Cortana America's military sure. procedure should yes, involve, sir. like, primogeniture. Best decision you've ever made or the worst. Hell of it is, Chief. But, like, I, I don't hate Miranda. Miranda's cool. Miranda's, cool. Miranda's perfectly fine, you know? As characters go. She's annoying because she's a figure of command in a Halo game. That's really the only real sin she commits. She's a perfectly passive character. She's also one of the only relevant female characters in Halo. You love a good lock and load montage, and this isn't like a great one. There's no obsessive, almost pornography-like shots of unloading and loading weapons, but... It's still a pretty good uh, sequence. Yeah, I don't like Lord Hood. His primary like purpose in the plot here just seems to be to say how he disagrees with uh, Keys' plan and then to be like, I don't know, is he outranked by Keys? Is he outranked by Chief? For whatever reason, he doesn't actually have any say here, so he just bitches about it and then shuts up and leaves the story. I don't even remember what happens to Lord Hood. So I've been doing, like, a couple of levels at a time, and they have each been very, very cleanly. 30 minutes. Like, basically exactly. But we haven't hit, like, 30 yet, so... I'm going to keep going on this one, if that's alright with everyone. I assume it is. If you're watching this far, then presumably you enjoy me or something. Group ships. Staggered line. Chipmaster. They outnumber us. Three to one. Then it is an even fight. Fuck yeah, my man. All cruises <laughs> Burn them hides. That's never not the best. Cruise ship isn't taking part in the attack. Then it is he must have gone to ground. Roger that, ma'am. We're on him. Kick the door. Did they ever make Sergeant Johnson a spark? I honestly don't remember if he's dead or not. He's come back from the dead before, so who fucking knows? Where he's going. If I remember right, everyone, like everyone besides Arbiter, dies in this game or goes missing. We got Hocus. She's a little crushed, Sergeant Major. She'll go home. All right. Like, Off the hatch. Hocus. Hocus. I remember seeing that and being like, wow, they, uh, they've got two helmets to me. We need all the intel we can get. And then the SD came out. Open and shut case, you know? Ring a ding ding. Go, go, go! Well, I guess this isn't her. Yeah, I don't know where I am. I, I always assumed that this just was on Earth. It made sense considering that, like, the rest of the game takes place in Africa. Cause like, Africa has deserts, you know? I don't know that I've ever seen a mountain formation like that, but... I think 
this? And it, oh wow, look at that. You can see shit in the. Oh my god, it's reflecting. the The scope of this gun is reflecting things. That's really neat. Got a good angle. You take the first shot. That guy. You know, when when one win grabs you one set, you miss all the shots you want to what happens after that is purely up to your own level of accuracy. But that's not my fucking problem. I'm Wayne Gretzky. I love the little grappling left. Whoops! That was just an honest death. Could have waited a little longer behind the hump thingy. One thing that I always did really like about um, Halo is that, like, Chief, eyes on. as I mentioned, I'm not really a big fan of multiplayer, only, like, I either play multiplayer games or single-player games. If a single-player game has a multiplayer mode, I don't talk about it that much. But for the brief time that I did, was that fucking Limp Biscuit saying that? Thanks, I guess. Would you know? Yeah, one thing that I did appreciate about uh, the Halo multiplayer is that the maps all feel like something. Like... Sandtrap feels like this level. They all feel like a relevant level from an actual Halo campaign, and that's fine. I like that. Besides certain ones like Cold Storage of Valhalla, but those were so fucking cool that they didn't really look like anything. And in fact, it was better that they didn't. It's one reason why they stood the fuck out so much. There was this one, like, crappy, like... I don't even know what to call it. I guess it was a series. Um, I should look up that guy, see if he's still doing anything. But basically it was this, like, crappy, sort of stop-motion animated series using Lego. Uh, not using Lego blocks, which actually had licensed uh, Halo figurines available. Uh, but using Lego, custom-painted Lego minifigures. And they... They did a bunch of Halo, like, stories, I guess? They had nothing to do with the actual plot. It was essentially, like, Army and the Chief shit of, like... Violence and sitcom shenanigans that just happened to feature Halo characters. Kind of like early Red vs. Blue, before, like, it got, like, a like a myth arc and shit. I should pull Red vs. Blue watch, though. I need to finish my Attack on Titan read through, though. I've made some more headway on that, but hard to focus. It's demoralizing because of how much the ending of Attack on Titan sucks. Right so continue to produce fan works based off of it. I'm low! Did you call that thing Big Brother? Uh, dude. You know what? I bitch enough about people doing that to me. That's on me. That's that's on me. They act like they're gonna get away with shooting me in the back, like five feet from me. As in. That was pretty cool how I absorbed the other one's shots. Then we have some uh, heavier artillery to deal with this shit. Because that would be great for me. If this is the case. 
because I can just shoot these fucks with my gun. No one who wants to join me down in the fun pit either. Fuckers. You're heading for a spread. I just say they're heading for a spreading because I'm not comfortable with that, my man. Time for medic. Let's take them down. They're starting to collapse. I'm feeling a little hungry, if anyone can tell. I could take a break and get a snack. But Halo time with a Y. This is a level I also remember getting stuck on. Mostly because of my own bad pathfinding and the fact that there's a lot, of, a lot of enemies. Yeah, shoot them. I really want to see comparisons of who kills what, how many times. Because like. Think about how many things Master Chief kills, you know? And how many of those he's killed more than once. On account of the flood man. And how many were the flood to begin with? Like. Because maybe what determines. Because I want to know who has killed the most things in all of it. Because, like, just thinking about... Because here's my thought process, right? Master Chief. Coming up on... Uh, seven games? Nope, six games. All starring him. Not counting anything else. You take the most cannon mode. Chief, I'm giving the brutes all I've got. And let them... And, and just fight. start counting, Dawn's you know? Find me a place to set her down. Yeah, like add everything Dante's killed in one, two, three, and four. And five. Yeah, this is a real easy mode terminal to find. Alright! I uh, don't actually care that much. This game can have cutscenes, which means that terminals are less necessary. That shouldn't have worked. Neither should have that. Nothing but straight nuts on me, I guess. Well, maybe some gay nuts. Uh, anywho. Sorry, I've gotten myself off my tangent, but like, think of video game characters, especially ones who... 
have something that follows another. Like any video game character that's had a CSO. How much more ass does that video game character kick, you know? I feel like we'll have to include uh, Mario and like Donkey Kong, you know? It's like there have been like six Donkey Kong games. You know? Like how many guys has Donkey Kong stepped on? A lot, I'm sure. I guess we actually can't count Mario. Technically speaking, like every Mario game is supposed to be like a uh, like a reboot. Mound up. Let's find that LZ. Follow us, sir. Thing. All the way down this canyon. Well, there goes one guy. Whoops. Yeah, the Donkey Kongs are all sequels, I think, so we can count those. But I don't think we can count Mario because one of the directors once said that like it's basically a thing where like every single game is like a, is, like, a reboot. They're all new, fresh takes on it. This is a fucking huge area. And I got lost and uh, also at one point got separated from the vehicle. So you can imagine I was, uh... Well, I was dumb and like... I want to say like seven. I was a little older, yeah. Because I didn't, I didn't buy this game. I didn't even buy it when it came out. I was aware of it when it came out, but I did not buy it. Any race would be suicidal, it would be grunts. I mean, like, I guess suicidally overconfident about hitting themselves. It's like, shit, what are they gonna care? This is where I'm going, huh? One problem solved. And we unlocked heavy metal as well. I wonder what the signifier for versus CPU is. This would be a good thing to ask my comment section, huh? I'm not in the like I'm not in the habit of doing that though. Like I don't even really ask you to subscribe. I wonder if I should do that. I know that like people appreciate YouTubers who don't beg for subs, but I do not get paid for this as of right now. And it would be very nice. And uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not. I don't really think that the, I don't really think it matters, but like the minimum is a thousand subscribers. That's how much you need before you can start doing And I'm like a tenth of the way there. Be nice if I was more of the way there, but that's not my call to make, I guess. It's one of the things because it's semi random. Just based on if I get picked up by the algorithm. And I have a few times. Actually, uh, as I record this today, my uh, Heisenberg video, my video on Heisenberg for Resident Evil has overtaken uh, Femboy Hooters as my second most popular video. Though that one clip about um, Jeremy and his potential bisexuality has, you know, ran away with the show. It's like they don't even see us. I have actually uh, considered doing more Achievement Hunter clips, considering I guess that they pop off, but like, 
I don't know. That's not really what I want to do, and it's not really what my channel is about. I also considered uh, playing Marathon 2 because people really liked when I played Marathon 1. And granted, I do intend to play Marathon 2, but I wanted to play it kind of just because. I thought it would give me more subscribers, which ultimately seemed a little disingenuous. Um, the reason I played Marathon 1, in fact, was because I was between Halo games. I couldn't justify recording Halo 3 that far in advance, but I wanted to play more Halo, so instead I went backwards and played more a bunch of games. I'm like, talk about being in a bad place for Halo games when I'm done with uh, all the games. Are you, am I in your way? But like, I am, I am even more close to being through with Bungie games. Because I've got two marathons left, Pathways into Darkness, Oni, and... Oh god, Destiny. I could play Destiny. I don't really want to. The games aren't as good as they are cracked up to be. They could be a lot better. And that sucks. I wish Destiny was as fun as it is to think about playing. See that right there? Bungie smote me. In the first episode of this, I talked about how much heart the Bungie devs had for Halo. And how clearly that's shown through what way. LZ's through the cave, sir! Watch yourself! Got covered in the how clearly uh, Bungie's love for Halo and the game that they were developing shown through, well, with how um, much Bungie's own staff played Halo 3 Multiple. And, like, ostensibly, one could argue that they were just testing it, you know? And you gotta do that. What are we gonna do? Release an untested game? But, like, let's be frank here. They were doing it to have fun. And that, that betrays a lot of things about Bungie that they were just really there to have fun. And even though they were owned by Microsoft, at the time, one of the most capitalist and evil countries in the world, now there's a lot more in the running. Bill Gates is actually kind of a, like... I mean, the fucker's still a, uh, a billionaire. But as billionaires go, he might be the best one. Slim Pickens to begin with. I certainly don't want to defend Bill Gates, but he didn't allow him to kill him. Man also went out of his way to ensure that no matter what, the new version of Windows would be able to run Doom. And he didn't want to say? Because Doom was popping off and they were like, we want to make sure people can play Doom on this, because if we don't have a, a system that can run Doom, we're going to have a problem. Of course, then that led to fucking everything being able to run Doom. Part of it was just that Doom could run on anything. Going out of your way to make sure your operating system can run a popular game to convince people to upgrade. Do you have me? Rando? Okay, going out of your way to, to make sure. That's a pretty cool thing. He also has gone out of his way to speak out about like COVID and hand washing and things like that. Probably a dickhead, but like, you know, the not, the not, the not as much of a jerk as you could have been. Award, the old faithful classic. Megan, all guys. That the perspective, all that looks like. I have one of your guns. I want to give you this specifically. 
Lead friendly armor through the wall. Dude! Alright then, you heard the lady. I love that I love that we're back here and we're doing this again. Going. Oh, enemy, it's good. We're in the right way. You love getting a hold of a tank. It makes you feel really good. Uh, that's 45 minutes, so that's probably a good place to cut it, right? I imagine so. Uh, I've been Alfred, everyone. This has been Halo 3. We started the arc. So, it's go time, pretty much. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone. Uh, thank you.